Joined now by Democratic strategist Steve McMahon, as well as Republican strategist Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. Well, start with you. Sure. We're going to talk a little more about Trump today, but I got to talk about what he said. Um, is he off the rails again? Why would he say, take away her bodyguards and see what happens to her? I don't know. It didn't look like to me he was reading off a teleprompter. I know. So but he's off the a, rails. I know. This saying, is, a, is this what his brain does when he's thinking loosely? I actually, uh, you're not going to like this, but I actually. You can say anything you want. I do think it's absurd for politicians who are protected by arms every day because, let's face it, we live in an unsafe society at times. For them to say that it's okay for them to be protected, but that every individual doesn't have the right to do the same thing. And I think that's, he was just pointing out hypocrisy. Does he want something to happen to Hillary Clinton? Hell no. Let me tell you something. We want her healthy, and we want to run against her. Let's see, what, we happens, think she's let's see what do you mean by let's see what happens to her? What do you mean by that? I mean, I want her no, to be what healthy. You, what did Trump mean oh. by let's see what happens to her? <laughs> Look, his point is... You, well, you throw that arm up in the air. His point is, is this, which is she needs to be protected. It's obvious, and so do everyday Americans. They have the right to protect themselves, too, and she shouldn't... Okay, you made, the, you made the Trump argument, but a little more delightfully than Trump did. Right, fair. You make it the way he said it. Because yeah. that audience wasn't exactly pro-Hillary safety crowd out there. No, and this they weren't worried about her well-being. This crowd. wasn't new for him. And, you know, this is a guy who walks right up to the line and then steps over it on a routine basis. And, and frankly, he doesn't get called for it. And, you know, well, one of the things... Do you not well, watch no, no, the show? No, he's getting called <laughs> for it. He's, call getting, wall, he's getting called for it right now, and I hope he gets called for it much more broadly, as he deserves to. And one of the things that I have to wonder is whether or not he's doing this deliberately so that he doesn't have to defend the birther stuff anymore. Anymore or what he did today. He always comes up with the next outrageous thing okay. in order well, to brush the last cover? outrageous thing under okay, the Okay, let me talk this about it. Let me ask you about this sure. citizen's arrest he attempted five years ago, Barack Obama, for being a usurper, for being somebody from Kenya. The whole absurd thing. I don't know if you heard the beginning of the show, but he can't logically follow birtherism. It doesn't work logically. That, that a young white woman, to be blunt about it, from Kansas said, you know, I want my son to be president someday, so I'm going to marry an African guy who's kind of unstable guy drinks a lot I'm gonna go over to Kenya and have the baby over there but meanwhile I'm gonna have the newspapers report in Honolulu and the, and the birth certificates and all say that I had the baby there so that 35 years later he'll be eligible for president it's Looney Tune that's why it's closed, Looney Tune that's why he closed the book well, on it. Five, years, five years, years he sold this stuff I know you guys you. He you. Sold I know it. you're he upset sold it for that five he years. closed the book on it I'm happy about it I'm happy I don't to talk to, about you know what anymore. I've been pushed him to do it I can't knock him for doing what I pushed him to do I've been put Rudy Giuliani I pushed him I pushed him every time Stop it this it nonsense. It worked. It Why do you, the trouble with it, he, had no, he didn't have campaign, any new information on which that's to change right. What's his happening mind. in this campaign is this, is that. He did it without information both has, ways. He has put serious professionals around him, and he's listening to them. Grown and up. I think he got advice to say, quit talking about this. You're actually doing effective outreach in the African-American okay, community. Okay. Quit talking about is this. Is this about the fact that he faces a debate in 10 days? Well, actually, I think he created some questions today that are. Oh, gonna... you're not going to let him off the hook, are you? No, no, no. Okay. I'm not going to let him off the hook. She has some questions too. But by we the way, to I mean, later. you know, he he was supposed to have a news conference today. He parades around the hotel instead and shows everybody his brand new hotel. I mean, this guy is a marketer. He's a he's a salesperson. Are you guys going to attack him for not having press question. conferences? Really? He didn't answer a single question Seriously? about what new evidence was you, you were, provided to him that caused okay, him to walk here, here, back. Are you are you're a Clinton supporter? Let's chop the ideology and go with you guys. What you're good at, which is winning arguments politically. I think he lessened the chance that birtherism will be a big topic in the first debate by what he said today. If he hadn't done it, whoever the moderator, Lester or Martha Raddatz or anybody, that, Mike, Chris Wallace, any one of those people would most likely say, do you still believe this president's here illegally? Or got here, snuck in the country or assumed the office of the president illegally? That would have been a guaranteed question, I would argue. This way, they, they can only say... As you're suggesting, well, why'd you say that and then stop it? Because then he can always say, look, I, I cleared that up. As the Clintons always said, I've already talked about yeah, this. I've already on. given my answer. I said moveon.org. Moveon.org. And I also think it just takes the heat out of it generally, which is, yeah, I mean, uh, he's going to go through some painful moments with people like yourself saying, oh, but, 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 but. He closed the book on it. It's over. Which way is the momentum going right now in this campaign? Right now, this Friday going into the weekend. Well, the momentum changes in these things pretty frequently. Which way is it, was, it, it going in, right now? I think it's Hillary's. You're she's right back now. on the campaign trail. She's it's starting showing to make, the numbers next Monday started, and Tuesday. Yeah, she's starting to make a positive case. You know, at the end of the day, this campaign is going to be decided. Positive case. I haven't heard this that campaign is going to be decided by the candidate who offers the best and most compelling. What's the one word? Uh, what's the one word message of Hillary Clinton? The one word. I know what your guys changed. Together. It's together. Yeah, okay, great. We got. You answer my question. Strong together. Stronger together is two, but you'll ask for only one. I know it's I do. Better together. Do you like stronger? Together. You think together is better than change? 
Uh, uh, no, mean, not when 70% of the American people think we're on the wrong track. I'm for change. Yeah, walls, change, attacking it's immigrants, a nice try. racism, nativism. Anyway, Those are all you, the Steve words McMahon. for Donald Trump. And Donald okay. Trump is the one that makes uh, charges against people. That's okay. right. Boston Strong, right? Boston, Boston Strong. Boston anyway, Strong. thank you, my slap. Thank